with the way Mike shoots it, it really sucks the viewers in and puts them in the apartment with us. And there isn't, there, to my knowledge, there's no, no programming that does that. And I think that's why we do so well on the internet. But, I mean, yeah, it's on the internet. We don't make any money doing it. We don't charge per episode. Uh, ideally, I'd love to, uh, you know. <laughs> we have, there's no way to make money on the internet. Well, there is, but I'm not getting naked. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they, they claim that you can uh, get sponsors and page clicks and stuff, and we have a hard time holding on to sponsors, obviously. We rely heavily on fans' donations, actually. Yeah. We set up a PayPal account. Viewers pay for the entire show which is really kind of sad considering most of our viewers yeah. are from like the midwest and they like they, they write to us and like yeah uh we could we totally relate with you like having to eat ramen every day because i just got laid off from my job i've got no money i haven't seen a movie in years but here's, here's a bucks. dollar <laughs> <laughs> and it's like you know it's like their last three dollars that they're giving you as a donation and you feel terrible about it it's like you feel ter- terrible about fun. it <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> I have a lot of fun doing the show, and if they're gonna, sp- if I'm gonna get sponsored by people watching the show to do the show, I'll do the show. It's really kind of funny to me that, that we ha- even have a fan base to begin with, because these are just my friends, and they're not acting. Like uh, people will say, I mean, Aaron and Seth, are the, the two, the two new guys on the show, who have done some acting, just and because we'll put them in that situation. Yeah, you think it's acting, and like I've had people, like I've had like uh, some of our people that have seen the show be like. Uh, they really act a lot for the show. Like, I love the way that they're acting. And there's, if you watch the new trailer, there's a clip with the two of them walking through the grocery store at the end, and it's a wide shot, and it's them walking over. It's them walking up to a bin, and you reach down and grab like a can of... I don't, I don't even remember what it was, can yeah. of soup or he, something. He reaches down and grabs a can of soup, and him and Aaron look like... The, they look like the big hetero couple in the joint, <laughs> right? And he's standing, and Seth looks at it, and he's like... Oh, too expensive. And he just whips it back in the bin. And it totally looks active, but it wasn't. It was real. I literally just ran away from them and shot them. This is how these two assholes are. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, there's no acting on the show. Our last episode was probably our highest in production value, and we're still editing it. Uh, the last one we did, we were calling our season finale for a pilot season. Lou and I had only agreed to do uh, five shows. It was, we're going to do five episodes, test run this thing, and then if it's not making us any money, then we're going to consider what happens. And uh, we've extended it, we've done special editions, or like uh, episode uh, 1.3, or whatever the hell it is. It's too fun. Uh, and then uh, we got to the last one, and I wanted to do a show that appealed to everybody, because we've had feedback from everybody. People don't either like our heavy metal music, they don't like the heavy music, they like the hip hop, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, we did everything. We decided to throw a big party for Lou, and I'm not going to give it all away. So I wanted to have it be heavier in production value, and it also encompass the looks from all of our shows. We've shot with everything from a consumer mini DV camera, like a Canon Z100, Z1 crapo, yeah, uh, from the shelves at Best Buy, <laughs> with a wide-angle lens on it for the first couple of shows, and then I do a little color correction to push it so that. Uh, on the internet and on computers, it looks really kind of good because you have high-res screens, so it looks sort of like Push 16 sometimes. We shot some with the uh, Panasonic DVX100. We did like the SID episode mm-hmm. of that, um, 24P style. We had a uh, Canon XL1 at one point. We had an XL1 at one point. So it's sort of like what we can sort of dig up from friends and whatnot yeah. is what we're using for cameras. And each episode had its own look. The angry episode we shot with a crap camera, but then I wanted it to be more like a punk sticker so we black and we made it black and white and made it as gritty as possible we did shoot a promo with the xl2 uh the mini 35 adapter and the zeiss lenses yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and the only reason we shot a promo was because i had the had camera the sitting gear. in the house <laughs> <laughs> it was like aaron why don't you come on in the kitchen and eat, eat some, some cereal. cereal and we'll <laughs> film you doing that with an expensive camera package um People love that promo by the way yeah <laughs> So we shoot with all sorts of stuff. Audio is uh, the bane of my existence because I, I'm friends with uh, very expensive audio guys, which means that I don't have an audio guy. <laughs> so uh, a lot of times I'm using camera mics. The last show we had shotguns on the cameras, uh, but we end up having to do a lot of work. They, the biggest problem, I mean, the cool thing is that I can run and gun and shoot with all this crap gear, but then my post workflow 
is ridiculous. Like I have a lot of work to do in post. We usually spend at least a full day doing uh, audio cleanup, and then editing itself. For if I show, if I shoot, if I shoot like 60 minutes or an hour and a half worth of footage, it'll take me about four days of hardcore cutting. Four to, to do. five days. Four to five days. And then another day, day and a half, just to clean up the audio. And most people like, well, editing's editing. Like I talked to the, the, the people from NBC wanted me to cut my production time down and make it quicker and more efficient. They're like, uh, you know, can't you just give us a show a week? And I'm like, you're out of your goddamn mind. And like, yeah, can't you give us a show a week for no money? And I was like, you're killing me, dude. <laughs> and uh, I, I tried to explain to them, though, well, can't you cut your edit down? I said, well, the reason why the show is so interesting to watch is because it is a complicated edit. And there is a lot going on that people don't notice intentionally. But we're not only are we cutting to the beat, but we're uh, creating a whole story with this edit. So you like we're trying stuff here and we're trying stuff there. And uh, like there's a point like because we use a lot of smooth hip hop music and I try to cut the show like I cut the dialogue first to put the story together for the show. But then I go through and I shut the dialogue off and I cut to the beat and if you watch some of the early episodes to the hip hop group Lou dances through the kitchen <laughs> like everything's on the beat like he's moving through the kitchen chopping to us to like a beat for here and there's this whole sort of like smooth uh, pimp groove going on that I think you know excites the ladies we accidentally fell into a contact through NBC and they, they got the show and they they watched the show and they, they liked the show but they wanted to see where we were going with it and um we, my whole take on it is, is like, this is only one thing that we do, or this is one thing that I personally do. Mm -hmm. And starting with Lewis was literally something I was doing when we had nothing going on, where it was like, it's a Tuesday, I'm bored, let me shoot stuff. And when I do all these projects, I do a lot of my short films the same way. I end up dry running stuff that clients would never let me do. So uh, I'd shoot like in this crazy chaotic film style with multiple angles and multiple coverage and I test it all out on, the, sh on uh, the show and I can turn to a client and go, well, check out the show. And since then I've been hired to actually shoot in the style of Starving with Lewis, which is really funny <laughs> when you have like corporate clients coming to you going, yeah, can you shoot in the style of Starving with Lewis? And it's like... Uh, so is your guy going to be fat and walking through the kitchen and swearing? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't mean fat. I meant, I meant big. You, you <laughs> keep, keep backing up and avoid getting hit. <laughs> Thanks again for joining us on Filmmaker's Pod. That was episode number 15.